Welcome back, everyone. Sit up straight. The Marines are in the house. Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello, sir. I love that. That was great. You're going to get me doing that. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, the reason they're here is a couple of weeks ago, we got wind of a very, very interesting program that's being offered in the community where educators can go down to boot camp and really get an education on what the Marine Corps is really about. I just find this fascinating. And joining me today, let me introduce my guests. For, uh, ladies first, uh, Kelly Broadmerkel, <laughs> Staff Sergeant. Yes, sir. Kelly Broadmerkel. Welcome, Kelly. Uh, Private First Class, Sam Stadnick. Yes, Welcome, sir. Sam. And uh, Jim Marquette, Sergeant know, Jim Marquette. I can tell from the stripes, even I know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so welcome to all of you. Very nice to have you here. Uh, Kelly, I'm going to start with you. Um, tell us about this program. Where did it start? Why? Um, the Educators Workshop was basically to educate educators. Um, yeah. There's individuals that don't know everything we offer, everything that the Marine Corps is actually about. So this is to allow the community and those that touch the community's youth to get a better concept of what we actually stand for between our history um, and our community and what we as the Marine Corps community would be about. It's such an innovative program when you think about uh, actually taking people from the community and having them witness it first, first, first hand, right? Yes, sir. Um, now, uh, I want Jim. I always want to ask people this, when you go into the armed forces, what made you want to go into the armed forces? Well, it, a, it was definitely a lifestyle, lifestyle change. On yeah. my end, I wanted that lifestyle change. I knew that the military, especially the Marine Corps, can get it for me. Yes, yeah, for sure. And it, it played out, didn't it? Oh, it definitely did. So. Yeah, it did. I bet in so many ways. Yeah. Uh, before we went on air, I was telling them that a, a very close friend of mine is a Marine, and that's the way you always say it. He's 70 years old now, so he hasn't been in the Corps for many, many years, but he always refers to himself as a Marine oh. because of everything, the life-changing things that, that he that's experienced. Our, that's our saying, once a Marine, always a Marine. Yeah, that's right, absolutely. Uh, we have a, new, a recent graduate here with Sam, and you're yes, from the area, aren't you, Sam? Yes, sir. Okay, so you're from Saratoga Springs? Yes, sir. You just went through boot camp? I did. Yes, you sir. did? Graduated uh -huh. on December 4th. Well, congratulations. Thank you, sir. To you for graduating. What was it like? Uh, it was tough, but uh, it's, it's definitely what you make of it, so I, I tried to have fun with it the best I could. Having fun with boot camp? I don't know. That's an oxymoron <laughs> if ever I heard of one <laughs> in my life. But uh, you're smiling, so obviously survived. And uh, yes, How did it change you? It definitely uh, just made me, made me sharper. It, just, it made me a little bit more disciplined, you know, a sit-up straighter, mm -hmm. walk, walk a little taller, be more respectful, mm -hmm. things like that. And you, it's how receptive you are to the values-based training that, that goes on there. Yeah, values-based training. Good. I want to cycle back and, and talk about that. So, Kelly, if you, uh, you put out a call, and we'll, and we'll give you information on how you can participate in this. And I'm going to participate in it, <laughs> if I can. Yes, sir. The, uh, what can someone expect during this? I would call it a workshop. That's probably not the, the right term. But it's a three-day, pretty intensive... It's, we take everything that they experienced in 13 weeks, and we put it into a three-day period where they actually Yikes. will hit the yellow footprints, get the initial uh, reality check or wake-up call on how they get it, and then we actually break it back and peel back the onion a little bit on it to show them what they learn, the courses that they take, um, between the rifle that they learn, the martial arts that they learn, but also the classes that they take, the core values between honor, courage, commitment, um, integrity, our history. Because once you become a Marine, you celebrate a second birthday. It's, a, it's another you take on a lifestyle. It's not just a career. It's not just a job. It's a lifestyle now that you become a part of. Mm -hmm. So he has to learn that new lifestyle that he's now taken on. Mm -hmm. So we want the teachers or educators or local influencers in the community to experience that. So when someone asks them, they can speak knowledgeably on what they went through, on what they experienced firsthand versus mm -hmm. just what they may read or hear third party. Yes, so you're right. going to go for us. Yes, <laughs> I, I, absolutely. Um, and so they, they, I guess this is part training, part classroom activity, part, you know? Uh, it's a little bit of the classroom. Uh, okay. A little bit. They get some time with the general who uh, promotes the program to um, get them continued education credits. Uh, okay. So that they, uh, it's looked at as a professional development opportunity mm. that they can bring back with them. Mm -hmm. um, so not only are they guiding the students in the right direction, they get something out of it as well, um, mm -hmm. something tangible. Um, but mostly it's, with, it's, it's the hands-on stuff. So you take mm -hmm. those 13 weeks, like uh, Stats Aren't said, and you condense it into three days. Every, anything from uh, live fire shooting to mm -hmm. 
obstacle course navigation. They get to observe the swim qualifications mm -hmm. uh, from uh, marine sort of experts in the tank, as we call it, mm -hmm. the pool. Um, pretty much everything. And then it culminates on Friday when they get a chance to see the brand new Marines walk across the parade field, the parade deck, mm -hmm. and uh, get to go home with their families that graduation Friday. Wow, it sounds, it sounds, you know, you say something like it's 13 weeks condensed into three days, and I'm thinking those 13 weeks are pretty damn intense to start with, so those three <laughs> days are killer. <laughs> I can't imagine. But you do allow everyone to go at their own pace, right? Yes, sir. Yes, oh, good. Okay. No, it's, it's very good, because even when they come to the graduation, like, they'll see the morning colors, they'll see the Marine Corps band play, mm -hmm. um, and then they will watch the individuals now they saw during the crucible or during the range. Um, they'll actually get to see everything put together at that moment of graduation as they mm -hmm. march across the parade deck as now Marines for their family to be presented to for the first time. Mm -hmm. so now, you know, uh, Kelly, I'll ask you this question. Yes, uh, before we went on air, I asked Kelly, uh, you know, what is this about? Is this just about to educate people more about what the Marine Corps is about? And it was very interesting. You phrased it in such a way that you want the public to know more about the real Marine Corps. And when you say that, that has a, that, that that goes pretty deep, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of images or ideals or movies, um, how people get an image about something or what they their bias may be to it without actually knowing what it can present or what the capabilities are. Right. Um, some individuals, you know, between college, which Marine Corps does offer, or going to the work field or joining the military, there are those op options for individuals, but you got to make sure it suits that next step for them, too. If you're setting up yes. somebody for failure, then you want to find the best route to educate, educate on how to figure out for their youth as well what the best route is for them. Maybe it's something a little different than the norm. Mm -hmm. um, definitely these days it's a lot different than one would expect. Well, you sure, you know, you, when you realize that, uh, and I'm sorry to say kids, good video. they're all kids to me, Sam, <laughs> that's right, that's right. but it, uh, you know, at that time it's a very impressionable time for young adults, right? So if they're going to a teacher, if they're going to a counselor, if they're going to someone about life changing, you know, ideas about where the, what they're going to do with their life. The more that teacher or educator knows about the real workings of the Marine Corps, the better able they are to give them good advice, right? Definitely, sir. Yeah, so that, uh, that seems to be what, uh, what this really sort of boils down to, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so you got room for a guy like me? Okay, <laughs> sure. Do I have to get up before 6 in the morning or anything We got, like we got your tickets booked. <laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> before we got Oh, here, these Marines. Did. There's no mess around with the Marines. <laughs> I just mentioned this and the ticket's already booked. Uh, now, um, if you want to find out more information about this, there is a recruitment station at the Wilton Mall. It's right outside of it, like next to um, the Staples and the oh, okay. and behind the Home Depot. We're in that little outlet kind of outside mall, not in the actual mall itself. Yeah, this is a very unique, interesting program. If you're an educator or you just want to be more involved, you want to know more, please visit the substation. Of course, the information will be on our website also. Um, yes, what is the time period for signing up for something like this? Um, ideally, we would like to hear from the educators or hear back from the educators, get everything finalized at least a month before the event. Okay. We, underst we understand that the process for them to get approved through their districts can be a little difficult at times, but you know we are willing to work with these educators to get them Good. out Good. When is the boot camp? Uh, it's 8th through 11th of March. Okay, so it's coming up. So yes. there would be time now to sort of uh, really start to look into this. Yes, it's good to get the applications now for us because the sooner we can review and make sure everybody's, you know, good or qualified or anything that may be coming up within their school board or districts or um, their bosses if they're in the local media side of the house. Mm -hmm. um, just getting the permissions beforehand so it's not kind of a shock when you go, hey, can I take three days of uh, yeah, vacation sure. time? Yeah, sure. Right, <laughs> absolutely right. Well, Kelly, Jim, Sam, Thank you very much for coming in. Happy holidays to you. You too, sir. And uh, thank you for filling us in on this. This is a very unique and I think a very worthwhile effort you're doing. So thank you for thanks. your support. Thanks, and thank you for your service. <laughs> See this interview again? You can head to our website, looktvonline.com.